Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, this time we are going to show how to print something out of your own uh, VCL uh, application. Uh, to demonstrate, uh, well, let's see this uh, simple application. Uh, it contains a combo box uh, which uh, lists all uh, printers on my uh, PC. So, uh, as you can see, I have uh, Epson uh, automatically selected and that is because uh, that is my default uh, printer and uh, the idea here is once I uh, have written something here in this uh, memo component uh, and I click print uh, that that content is printed on the selected printer so for demonstration I'm just going to use this Microsoft print to PDF so that you will uh, be able to see the actual uh, uh, result right and once I click print, uh, considering I'm printing to PDF, it asks me now, okay, specify the file name, uh, where to print. Uh, so it's going to be test. And if I open that folder here and uh, open the test uh, PDF, and uh, if you uh, check it out, uh, of course, uh, he printed uh, everything that we specified into that PDF file, and the same result uh, we would get if we have been uh, if we chose uh, some other printer, for example, this one. Or although uh, in that case uh, it would print out on a paper, right? Not in a PDF file. Uh, now the question is. Uh, how to do it, right? Uh, is it complicated and what is necessary to do? So, uh, uh, first thing is that we need to fill this uh, combo box with all uh, printers uh, on your computer and uh, I'm going to open the code here just for you to see. Uh, this is the code here. Uh, what I did, I used a constructor of the form in order to uh, uh, fill combo box items with all printers uh, on my uh, computer. So, uh, of course, first I clear all uh, existing items, I refresh uh, all printers uh, on the uh, PC and uh, this line will fill the combo box with all uh, printers uh, on your PC. And the last line is used to uh, select uh, the default printer uh, in the combo box. Uh, uh, so uh, in my case, like I said, my default printer is the Epson and it is automatically selected because it's the default printer uh, on my PC. In order to print something, uh, well, uh, it happens of course when clicking this button and uh, in order to print it, uh, you need to use the T printer class uh, in this case and uh, you can specify all uh, different options here for example orientation you can uh, specify here the printer that is going to be used uh, for printing uh, you can uh, specify font that is going to be used uh, you can also specify uh, how many copies here uh, page width height uh, and so on so on so uh, there are really lots of options that you can uh, use to uh, customize uh, your printing also there are uh, already existing dialogues such as the printer uh, dialogue uh, let's just see here print uh, print dialog, print setup dialog that can also be used uh, actively uh, to uh, customize the printing. Okay, and in order to start printing, uh, begin doc uh, method is used, and uh, pretty much that starts the printing. And how to print something? Well, uh, by using uh, text out, canvas text out. And I'm starting from a coordinates uh, 100, 100, where each second uh, or each following line uh, in the memo component will be printed out uh, according to the, uh, its text height. So pretty much I have uh, each line of text uh, below each other. And uh, end doc uh, is actually uh, ending the printing and I'm uh, deallocating the um, printer object. Of course you could use uh, smart pointers uh, here as well. And that's pretty much it. N not a big deal. Uh, just uh, use the team printer uh, object, uh, customize it, select a printer uh, or font and simply start printing by using uh, canvas text out and uh, 
well that's it uh, I hope uh, you find this interesting and useful and I, I certainly believe it can be useful and uh, well uh, thank you for watching and see you next time